In 2006, Mexico embarked on a drug war that would lead to the death or capture of the country's top crime bosses. Estamos en México, donde fue abatido el fundador y el líder de los Zetas, el cártel de droga más sanguinario del país. As leaders fell, their criminal organizations broke apart into smaller factions. And it came at the cost of thousands of lives, with last year being the deadliest on record. Mexico's president says there are 37 crime groups, but crisis groups research shows there are 198 active crime groups with as many as 463 in the past decade. These subgroups not only fight for drugs, they also vie to control profitable legal business like avocado farming. And as these crime groups compete for influence, more than 60,000 people have disappeared. The government should work with local partners and rebuild state institutions in conflict hotspots. Top-down approaches have failed them in the past. It must also recognize and attend to the dire humanitarian situation of displaced people and support groups working to find the thousands have disappeared or risk a 2020 plagued with more death and violence.